Hello fellow gamers, welcome to Asreality Gaming. My name is Dustin, and today we're going to be showing you how I built these awesome game shelves. So stay tuned, buckle up, and let's get to it. Okay, to give us a little bit more detail here, these shelves that I've built, uh, especially near the bottom here, have all been designed to fit exactly a one Nintendo cartridge, as you can see down here. I'm gonna zoom in there. So they're only like five and a half inches tall but I've got plenty of these available now to hold an entire collection of uh, Nintendo cartridges, plus probably a complete Super Nintendo section if I wanted to. Now I'm running room, out of room for taller games, disc games, things like that. So we're going to be doing a little bit bigger size. Uh, I think we're gonna be doing nine inches tall here. So we're gonna do nine, 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 all the way down, which should fit exactly all the way across here and then down below in this area down here. So we're gonna do a quick measure just to be sure because you don't want to assume anything. You wanna make sure you've got your measurements exact before you start sawing up wood. Okay, we've got our measurements here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit to kind of show you what uh, my sketching is. Uh, since this board on top has to be a little shorter, I've got it labeled at 72 and 3 16 of an inch so that that little edge on the side over here will line up. But overall, from end to end, it's 73 inches, uh, nine inches in between each section, accounting for three quarter inch wood all the way through, 73 inches across, and then each section in between will be 35 and three eighths of an inch between those two posts, pretty much. So we'll go down and we'll start measuring some wood and uh, doing some cutting, and we'll see how we turn out. Okay, the first part that uh, I did here is we're measuring the top board for the top part of the cabinet um, shelves. Um, 72 and 3 16 of an inch. I've already done that line up there. I'm just scoring it off here to make sure we're nice and exact. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and make a cut. I'll just be doing some protection. This uh, helps against slivers and things like that because these boards are, while they're finished and treated, there's still some rough edges around it. And again, always goggles are good. All right, let's get it in here. Get it soft. Make sure we're good and flush here. I've already calculated the blades and the angles, so we're good there. here to hold it down in place. All right, we're gonna kind of get a sense of how far we are. Taking into account the width of the blade. So we don't want to chop off too much, but we don't want to leave too little. And that looks like about the right spot. So I'm going to attempt to cinch it in here. Uh, uh, readjust this a little bit here. solid flush cut. All right. First cut. Let's double check. Yeah, we look good. All right, there we go. Extra piece. two posts or legs that uh, help it stand upright. So there's going to be three across there. Uh, and again, I've got those measured at uh, four feet exactly. So we'll take some more boards here and we'll measure these out. Cut. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and speed up some of these uh, clips here so they don't uh, bore or bog down the, uh, the video. Uh, so stay tuned and watch all the way through. Okay, welcome back to day two. Uh, we are going to be uh, doing a Craig jig into the, uh, the the shelves themselves to be able to have screws go in at an angle. Um, best way is just to watch. It's hard to explain exactly what's going on, but uh, you can definitely buy a Craig jig online, or you can buy them on Amazon, or um, like your local hardware store, etc. Uh, they work really well. They kind of you know, help you be able to flush mount boards in to uh, to your frame. And uh, yeah, well, let's give it a look and see how we do. All right, the fun part about this is you got to do tons of these. Every board, both sides. Um, so I'm going to be doing this for a while. So I'll probably fast forward through some of this video and then uh, maybe lay some music over the top. take a little sandpaper and sand off these edges a little bit to make sure they're not uh, flaking off and little slivers coming off uh, and then we'll put it together and then I'll paint it. All right uh, we have our first uh, shelf being put in here. Uh, I've got these spacers I don't know if you can see them here when I pull them out you'll probably be able to see them but I've kind of clamped everything into place so that it's uh, tight and flush and right where it needs to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and drill in my first hole here, my first screw, I should say, and get it fastened into place. There. And these Craig screws for this Craig jig are a little different. Uh, they have a square bit at the end. You can see that there. So you have to have a special square bit to be able to screw them in. And of course, that makes it where you have to buy more of these if you ever want to use your Craig drill. All right, that one's in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these clamps off to kind of show you. your boards here which are now going to be really hard to get out right there we're measured nine inches exactly Same thing here on this side sometimes I've had to take a hammer to get these things out but I wanted it nice and flush and tight so here we've got perfect nine inch width for our games nice and flush here and we've got everything lined up pretty perfectly uh, for our shelf so Move on to the next ones. Um, I'm going to be quiet and just kind of put this together and we'll probably fast forward through uh, a lot of this with some music in the background.
there we have our shelf. Uh, I'm worried that maybe this leg over here bows out a little bit because of the uh, pulling we had to do to get it to fit. But I think we've got everything fairly flush and fairly well, well put together here. You know, all these are really good. Only this one here stuck out just a little bit. Everything else is spot on and we look good. So next up, I'll be uh, throwing on some, uh, some black um, stain to, uh, to darken the wood and then uh, we'll go upstairs and put it in the game room. So stay tuned. Welcome back to day three. Uh, I'll be applying some um, black, uh, classic black uh, stain to the, uh, to the shelf. Uh, so give a watch and uh, see how it goes. Using a foam brush to apply the um, stain, I found that it goes on just a lot easier than a brush less splatter. I want to make sure we don't have any drips because stain drips suck. product at least for the first coat it should be good to go kind of zoom in here a little bit just to kind of got the wood grain but not completely covered I don't think I missed any spots hopefully and uh, this part here is the top which I am going to be covering with another board that's a little thicker or wider so that I can put bigger boxes and things like that on the top of the shelves. Uh, again, I did paint the sides here just in case uh, I decide to reconfigure these for whatever reason, uh, but it's just a quick slap on of the, the stain. All right, we'll let this dry for uh, probably 8 to 12 hours and then we'll check back and we'll try to get it upstairs and installed. The shelf is now put in, installed, and some games put on the shelf. And again, these shelves are a little taller here to hold taller games, uh, such as Sega CD games and Saturn games. Uh, let's just kind of do a quick scan by here. And then I did install a ledge right up in here, you can see. So it kind of hangs over just a little bit and put in some LEDs there. So we can kind of show what that looks like. There we go. And so that helps kind of illuminate uh, down below and give it just a little bit of a kick. As for the top area, I'll probably we'll put some other shelves up in this area to hold bigger boxes and such. Uh, we'll wait and see once I continue to grow my collection. As you can see, I've still got plenty of blank space here to fill up as it is. So we'll see what we can do there first and go from there. 
So if you like what you've seen or learned anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to uh, share and subscribe if possible. In the description below, there'll be links for the Craig's uh, pocket jig uh, device that I use to be able to mount the uh, shelves at an angle without having um, to screw in from the sides. Uh, and then also the Govi uh, neon light systems that I used, which uh, ended up working out really well and I'm very happy with those. So if you click on those links and use those, it does help the channel and I appreciate that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video again and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.